Bill Gates has financed a state-of-the-art nuclear reactor in Wyoming, and if successful, could be the first example of a large-scale molten salt reactor in the world. First ground was broken in Wyoming to build the 345 megawatt natrium reactor in June of 2024, and is expected to begin operations by 2030, where once fully functional, will have the capacity to power 400,000 homes in a state with less than 600,000 people. This novel nuclear technology provides operators with much more flexibility when it comes to adjusting electricity output, whilst boasting state-of-the-art safety features. But whilst promising, this technology has not yet proven itself consistent at a large scale. So how will this first-of-a-kind reactor fare once built, and will it pave the way for a new class of nuclear reactors? Nuclear power is ultimately a fancy and expensive way of boiling water. Unlike traditional PWR technology, which uses the energy released from nuclear reactions to directly create steam to turn a turbine and produce electricity, the natrium reactor design uses energy from these reactions to heat up sodium and form a molten salt. This molten salt is then used to create steam and ultimately produce electricity. A simple difference compared to the conventional nuclear reactor, but why is this intermediary salt such an interesting concept? One major benefit that reactors like the natrium have are the ability to control electricity output from the plant. Once heated by the nuclear fission process, the hot molten salt coolant can be stored and used to create electricity at a time later when it's needed. Unlike traditional nuclear reactors, this means that the electricity output of a reactor can much more efficiently be ramped up and ramped down to help even out grid fluctuations. In a world moving towards intermittent sources of electricity, like wind and solar, reactors like the natrium can help to complement these sources of power and create a much more robust grid. Built near the site of the old Camerer coal power plant, the project is leveraging the region's existing electricity infrastructure and access to the grid to create the world's only coal to nuclear project under construction. The reactor is considered a low pressure high temperature reactor, unlike traditional pressurized water reactors, which has several benefits in itself. Lower pressure means better safety, whilst higher temperatures allow the reactor to be passively cooled in shutdown mode meaning no human input would be required to shut down the reactor in an emergency. The lower pressures at which the reactor operates at means that the overall containment vessel does not have to be so thick, getting rid of the need for expensive and cumbersome structures associated with pressurized reactors. Fast reactors of this type also result in less byproduct nuclear waste production and can utilize waste as a fuel more readily. Despite molten salt reactors being initially created over 60 years ago, this technology is still relatively untested on such a large scale, meaning that challenges are likely to still crop up in the construction and initial operating process. One of these problems is that sodium at high temperatures will ignite when coming into contact with oxygen. A Russian BN-600 sodium-cooled fast reactor has suffered these issues in the past, and has seen the reactor suffer several sodium-related fires since first entering operation in 1980. The storage model of the Wyoming plant can also lead to some reduced efficiencies, as the molten salt naturally loses energy as it cools in storage. Whilst this means that stored molten salt can be stored for hours and even days before being used for electricity production, the design is not efficient for longer periods due to the eventual heat loss associated with the molten salt. We'll see in 2030, at the earliest, how this new generation reactor fares in the real world, and whether its engineering challenges can be managed on a day-to-day -day basis. But if successful, 
this reactor could pave the way for many more like it around the world, as we enter a nuclear renaissance, promising abundant and clean energy.